Americans bracing for the largest tax hike when the Bush tax cuts expire in January. Now the tide may be turning. Fresh off of his Martha's Vineyard vacation, President Obama may now want to extend the tax cuts, at least for the middle class, only for the middle class. It all has to do with the elections, of course. Wealth manager Ed Butowski joins the company right now. What do you make of that? We extend the tax cuts for the middle class, but we rescind the tax cuts for the rich. Taxes on the rich go up, taxes for middle class stay where they are. You manage the money of the rich, what do you say? I, I think it makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. I mean, why injure your most important player? The most important player in the economy and getting things going are the wealthy. Why injure them? L extend tax cuts across the board, even bring them lower, and stimulate the economy. There's really nothing left for this administration to do to hurt the economy any more than raise taxes. That's what they're basically doing. We have this quantitative easing potentially going in, more flooding of money. We just heard a report about inflation in the economy. Inflation is going to be out of control if we have more quantitative easing because that's a sophisticated way of saying print more money and getting into the system. Now, my colleague Alan Combs is with us, and of course he's on the left, and we've had this argument and discussion that. earlier before. Your point was that if you extend tax cuts for the rich, they won't spend that Back money. But wait, wait a second, wait a second. We've had on this program the foremost authority on rich people. He's from the Wall Street Journal. Um, and he says the top 5% of income earners account for 37% of all the spending in the United States of America. So if you give them a tax cut, keep their taxes down, they will, in fact, adjust and spend a whole lot more, which is good for the economy. Is Alan Greenspan an authority on the wealthy? Is Warren Buffett an authority on the wealthy? The people who say we should not keep these tax cuts for the wealthy, that it's going to create $600 billion in additional deficit, that it's going to affect such a small percentage of the population, it will not affect 98% of income earners? What about the people I just mentioned? Are they not authorities, Mr. Varney, on wealthy people? What about Paul Adelini from Intel and John Wait, I'll Chase mention from six Lowe's other Hotel. people. Okay, so I mean, which one do you want to are, Those are extremists. <laughs> well, they are. Warren Buffett and Alan Warren Greenspan. Warren Buffett has more money than he knows Alan what to do Green, with. And Alan Greenspan is an extremist. He's in the government. He, he actually came, but he said he was wrong about what he said 10 years ago. What will your clients do? You manage the money of the wealthy. Right. If their tax rate goes up on January the 1st, what's their reaction? Well, they're already. I mean, this isn't a surprise. And they're already looking and seeing about, you know, what plans they can put in place, generation skipping tax plays of some kind. There's not a lot they can do. What are they doing? They know inflation's coming. They're buying gold. They're buying silver. They're buying diamonds. That, by the way, does not help the economy. All right. All right. Okay. So, so they are not spending exactly what you're saying. And I also have some issues with, you know, Alan Greenspan and uh, Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett, as you said, very wealthy man. But is he an authority of the rich? Maybe he is rich, is which Alan we know. Is Alan Greenspan an authority? The guy who got us into this mess? Has he now he says I was wrong. I absolutely don't agree with you. I don't believe Didn't that's he say he happened. was wrong? Didn't he actually time. say I shouldn't have done what I did? Though? But, but you're assuming that Alan Greenspan is the authority on the rich, well, then, which he so is So why, why should I presume that your authorities are any better than my authorities? He's taking it direct from the people whose money he manages. He knows what they're doing. Those are rich people, aren't they? That's my point. Yes. They want. They don't want to pay any more money into the government. I know some of your clients. They're not the $400,000 a year own my own business trying to raise four kids clients that's I mean, right. they're they're wealthier that's that's the sweet spot I'm talking about four hundred thousand five hundred thousand six hundred thousand dollars a year owning a small business not the Warren Buffett not the only you know that that's if you're if you about. are making four or five hundred thousand dollars a year the tax rescinding of the Bush tax cuts only applies to the money you make over 250 you're not paying it on the entire but that's not true. true that is absolutely not that's true. absolutely true and you know it to be true Wait, so no why is that not true because those numbers aren't right I mean, then if you look at it, if you go and study these tax increases that will occur, all right, and they are tax increases, you will see that it's hitting every single it level. It increases on the money you make over two hundred fifty thousand dollars a year. Absolutely not. Go well, look I've at never the heard facts. that before. This is brand new information but that nobody, never, nobody else has ever that's stated. That's if it's amazing. all of the Bush tax cuts are rescinded. That is correct. Okay. But they're not. Now, we're talking about the tax cuts for those making two to two fifty, whether you're single or married, depending here's on two to two fifty. And if that's we, what the, we're talking we about. If we rescind too. the tax cuts on the top one or two percent of income yeah. earners. Every dollar that you make over $250,000, the state and federal government combined will take more than 50 cents of that dollar we're off talking you. about bringing now, the rates I back. To, that is not the way America. The rates go back to, to the Reagan rates. Were they bad under Reagan? Uh, that's not the way America <laughs> ought see. to be okay. taking fifty so cents on bad. the dollar of anybody. The Reagan but, rates were I'm no sorry. Bad. I've got to do breaking news. Got it. Sorry. Hurricane Earl 
Now a major category three storm. That's an upgrade from the National Hurricane Center. This is important. You can see the likely track of the storm, and it has been upgraded. Flat out of time. Ed Butowski, thanks for joining Thank us. Highlight really is next.